All right, team. So in part one, we completed this gorgeous Excel structure. And in part two, we will be building the sources and uses table. And we're going to pick up precisely where we left off on the newly updated summary financials tab. So use control page up to tab over to the sources and uses tab. And let's move this closer to our model with alt H O M press alt B. And we will move to before sheet summary financials two. press. Okay. This is the sources and uses table provided as a visual for the Baby Burgers LBO case study. And if you'll notice, in the visual, the figures are in thousands, which does not match the units in the model. So let's go ahead and update or delete all of these values. EBITDA currently links to our summary financials. But recall that we made a copy of this worksheet. So press equals, control page down, and link to EBITDA in 1231-2020. Next, we'll delete senior term debt and subordinated term debt. And then update this worksheet to include enterprise value. Press Ctrl-C to copy the format, Ctrl-V to paste formats and input 10. For your EBITDA multiple, we can change this value later, but for now we need a placeholder. So our enterprise value is equivalent to our EBITDA as of 1231-2020 multiplied by our EBITDA multiple. Next, let's update the values for senior term debt and subordinated debt. Fortunately, we have term sheets that were prepared as part of a content creation initiative with Catton, an innovative law firm with 600 plus lawyers across the US. The LBO case study lists the subordinated debt summary of terms first, so let's work with that term sheet and update the sources and uses table to include 17 million of subordinated secured notes. And while we're looking at the subordinated term sheet, you will notice that there is a financing fee of 2%, so we can go ahead and include that as well. Press Alt-IR to add a row, and F4 twice to add two more rows. And with the subordinated debt balance under sources and the financing fee included under uses, we can go back for the senior term debt. And on the senior debt term sheet, you'll see a proposed term loan of $25 million. So we'll input that under sources. and look for the fee associated with this term loan as well. And here we see we have an origination fee of 1%. And that's all the data we will require from the term sheets for the sources and uses table. But we will have to revisit those files when we are building the monthly debt schedules. And when we contemplate the risk posed by the capital structure created. Next, we will skip equity and seller proceeds and move on to old code debt. So press control and page down. And on the liability side of the balance sheet, we will see term debt of $3.4 million. And under transaction expenses, let's include an estimate of $1 million. If you would like to learn more about transaction expenses, the private equity training curriculum has a course titled Working with Third Parties. That provides substantial detail. It also includes an Excel worksheet as a simple overview. So now under uses, we have everything but seller proceeds. And another way to think about seller proceeds is that this is the sum used to purchase the target company's equity. And if the company trades at an enterprise value of $88.4 million in a cash-free, debt-free transaction, 
then we can link to enterprise value and subtract the old code debt balance to arrive at seller proceeds. Next, let's update the total because this is clearly incorrect. And now you'll see that our total is equivalent to our enterprise value plus our transaction and financing fees. And this helps us arrive at the amount of equity that's required to close the transaction. First, we'll make total sources equal to total uses. And as a last step, we can back out the equity value. Finally, as a last step, let's just make sure all our multiples are correct. And with that, our sources and uses table is complete. Well, almost done. Bam. All right, team, nearly done. In part three, I will explain how to link the sources and uses tab to the balance sheet adjustments in an LBO model. But otherwise, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.